Hi guys and welcome to another PHP tutorial and uh, uh, today I'll be showing you some briefix about uh, MySQL database and I'll be showing you more about MySQL fetch RI. Alright so uh, to start a PHP first we need to start the PHP tag sorry I'm, I'm not seeing any like it should turn red I'm using a Note plus, notepad plus plus and before we can see any PHP like extensions we need to save as PHP file and save it somewhere on my desktop because I'm doing this for tutorial purposes only alright so now it's, it recogni recognizes this as a PHP file and also it shows numbers on so you can see which line has an error or something like, something like that something like this alright so uh, first, before we can start the MySQL fetch array, fetch array means basically get information from a table which has some valuables inside. Um, before we need is MySQL MySQL connect, which is um, you can you can write in your settings. I suggest you write it like this. If you're using a hosted server, you need to write like uh, my host.com to blah, blah 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 they have like like this something then you need your your password if you're doing this on a local server it's you have your own server you just write local host and basically name is root and then you have some password and it should connect otherwise it should dump out an error and uh, now we need to write mysql select database to say the MySQL which database we want to work on and basically this is that and just that be alright so when we start uh, there is many there are many ways to start this query and first 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 case is you write fetch the variable is equals to MySQL fetch RI function and later on uh, this fetch array means get information and you need to write MySQL query and this means you, you need to like line up line up what do we want to ask the database and then you write select uh, then you sh if you want to work on performance then only write what information you want to select if you click on this star right here it means get all information but if you if you need like only ID or name or uh, age you write like this then you call then you write from and then you write from which table I mean database is the this is the folder and then in the in the folder there are many tables write it from like users where uh, and where something is equal to something you can write where I always write it on enter enter like where name equals Jean like I don't know that that's it. and limit one okay in this case you will get a result of where name is that's and equals to one okay so uh, if you want only one result to be fetched where name is that equals one and age is 27 sorry I'm out of screen so I'll just dump this in new line you can click enter on it and it will work fine so where name is that and age is equals to one or okay, for example if you have like seven of that's as with age of 21 then you write seven if you want to get all write nothing uh, the thing is if you write now echo and you want to get the information of, of it like name it will show uh, user name user age you write age uh, the thing is it will show only the first row that's been found with these information then you can write order by name dest as it means descending or ascending order by ed dest uh, means the newest user and you can limit to one you can also order by order by rand means order sorry 
it means order in random uh, and you can limit it limit to one therefore when he, it, in this case it will fetch many users of this name uh, but if you limit one the query will stop when the first row has been uh, gathered all right there therefore so far um, now if we want to show many results we write while and we do a little bit different like write row equals mysql fetch array and uh, we clear this out and the slash on the back uh, we write like this and then we write echo sorry uh, echo row name and we write username and age age row age and then you just write horizontal line and uh, in this case it will show all valuables all, I mean, all values which have these names unless you have limited it to 10 or 5 or 20 or 60 and 70 okay so uh, in this in this script you can pause this video you will get uh, users and it will show name and age and we have got, got in ID name and age you can also show ID you, uh, row ID in front and then like write equals to and something like this okay so now uh, I will show you some uh, more uh, complex uh, information so where name is that and age is 27 or or name equals Oscars and age age is less than 20 or uh, ID equals larger than wait ID is larger than sorry larger than 25 so in many complex this will get that's a day that's a with age of 10 27 or a user with name of oscars and ages below 20 or uh, users with id 24 and it will get all these information here and it will show all these informations in random like principles so another thing is uh, from users where uh, and you want to show if you search for something uh, and if you search for something, you write name equals, you know, you don't like, if it's equals, you get the same value as you want to write. Your name is equals value, some value. Uh, if you're using a search and you, somebody writes like half of this name or something like that, you write like uh, name. Uh, this will make uh, where text is uh, very close to this one so uh, it, very close I mean if, if it's like this or if it's like this or maybe a, a different symbol right here I mean like other symbols uh, it's all very close but this is not the closest and much more closer is if you write percent percent then you write like dots and in this case it will get all values from somebody's name which contain a letter D, A, C, and E uh, next to each other. Uh, for example, you can write D and it will get all the names that contain a letter of D. And you can write like numbers and everything. You can write you can write this. So if you if you're using a square query, you you should uh, also be aware of a like function because it's very used in many places. So. Uh, and basically this is it about uh, MySQL Fetch Array and uh, this is only the query how you select uh, the showing all, all values can you, what can you be shown uh, there's many many difficult and many different ways but if you have any questions you just write me personally and thank you for